What's good, YouTube? Man, we back with another reaction video. We about to react to um, Larry Bird. It's called uh, Larry Legend. I'm not sure if um, myself's um, seen this video. Um, I'm about to tap in. Uh, try to get the channel to 5K subs, man. I'm at 46. I'm at 46.19. So I need 300, 371 subs. No, yeah, 371 subscribers to get to 5,000. So make sure y'all tap in, make sure y'all subscribe. I appreciate y'all, we about to hop right into it. Y'all should enjoy this uh, reaction. Um, yeah, man, with that being said, I ain't gonna talk y'all ears off, man. Uh, this is the best sports reaction channel on YouTube. So make sure y'all tap in, make sure y'all subscribe, man. If y'all wanna see something else, so request a reaction. I got a lot of requests to reactions that I gotta uh, get to, but um, make sure y'all drop it in the comments. Uh, let's get it though. National Basketball Association in its 33rd season, troubled by diminishing crowds and declining television ratings, signs that fan interest may be waning. There was an argument made, plausibly, I think, that it was too black a league for the United States of America in the late 1970s. You think about the Knickerbockers at the time. The running joke was it was the Knickerbockers. You know, it was the, it, it, that's what it was. It, it was the N-word. Let's turn it off a lot of white people. White customers that are coming to the game, you know. Uh, Why? I think there's still a there's a conflict between the white and the black, and uh, I don't enjoy going to basketball and seeing all black players. The NBA had this image of a, an all black league with a bunch of guys who did drugs. The teams were losing money, and uh, they had no sponsors. He didn't impress me no more than any other white guy I've ever seen play before. Cole. You just need more white ball players on the team for the white fans to identify with. There's hope he can help solve professional basketball's difficulties, which some say are compounded by a question of black and white. During the playoff series this year, has been averaging 16 points. I'm thinking of oh, slow, he can't get off the shot. Bam, oh. knocks down a jump shot. It's not that strong. Well, trying to stay with him. Out to Larry Bird. Bam, knocks down another jump shot. Enthusiastic 20 feet away. Bam. 25 feet away. Bam. Out of my mind just goes, damn, this white guy can play. I think that you would say that most black players at the time were racist. Larry Bird with a rebound. Very offensive rebound. We did not think that you could find a, a white guy who could play better than any black guy. A lot of black guys always have. Could Larry Bird really play that good? I said, man, Larry Bird was so good, it's, it's frightening. He has ice water in his veins. Uh, so you know what I'm talking about. I'm, uh, <laughs> what, what is that? It's, he's not even human. Larry Bird was right there with Michael Jordan and Magic Johnson in mental toughness and leadership. And Lane Bird, the fall away. Is good. Great touch. Larry, that game was unbelievable. Just absolutely unbelievable. Bird out of the left corner. The bomb is good. Johnson, a lead for Bird. They want him to. They want him to keep scoring too. Bird takes the jumper. Dominique guarded him. Cliff guarded him. Antoine Gar guarded him. I guarded him. Nothing more. Bird for the five. Got it again. He makes a jump shot, and the players are high fiving each other like, man, this guy's so hot. Bird has 54. There's Bird. Bird. He's tough right here. That's to tough. He hit the shot. Oh boy. Wow. He called it. Uh, he said rainbow uh, trainer's lap, you know, and he faded away, hit the shot, and fell into our trainer's lap. And Bird falls into Joe O'Toole. Larry Bird. What more can you say? Larry Bird. Larry Bird. Backs in. Close to that Bird. Takes the jumper. And... That is good again. Larry Bird is just unconscious. You're seeing a greater performance as you'll ever see from Larry Bird. Because Larry Bird just put on an exhibition. Boy, that, I mean, 
track of the temperature here in Boston Garden and it says 91 degrees. That's inside. Outside is pretty delightful, Tom. Lakers had several chances and here's Larry Bird. Down the and this place is Bedlam. Even though it's, it's against my Lakers. Kevin Willis and I and Bird was running down the court. This is a type of game of who's going to blink first. Ooh, Kevin Sweet. reaches across me and puts his finger in. And Larry Bird's chest said, don't let this so-and-so score any more tonight. By this time, both players are unconscious. Huh? And I looked at Kevin. Uh, what you Jimmy Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> are you crazy? <laughs> Anything might happen between the two of them. It's Bird's turn. Mm. Mm -hmm. Uh, you talk about clutch shots. He hit 10 clutch shots. I was going to say, that game. you had 47 in that game. Larry Bird had 34, but 20 of those in the fourth quarter. the game is tied at 103. And the thing is, we were sending everybody at him. Uh, bro. You know, come off the screen. Come up, bro. This is It's a bad motherfucker right here, bro. That's when you know a guy is in the zone. Larry Bird hit more clutch shots, you know, in pressure situations than in the play. They told you about each and every one, right? You yeah, know, man. Johnson gets it into Bird, and Wilkins is there. Bird comes free. That's a bad motherfucker, bro. Game five at the end of game five against the Pistons in the 88 Eastern Conference Finals. Bird steals the ball. I don't, I don't need to get into that. Mm. It's blocked. And Larry Bird was very underrated as a defensive no, disruptor. Here's a disparity in the call. They're going to give the ball to Detroit. Mm. Bird steals it. Johnson. That's fucking crazy, bro. Bro, you know, I can watch that play a hundred times and still be amazed. Larry Bird remains. The greatest small forward ever, period, in the score. A marksman of the highest order, one of the most lethal marksmen we've ever seen. Larry Bird was Mr. Clutch. When the ball, when the game was on the line, you knew that the ball was going in Larry Bird's hands. There was little to nothing that you could do. That's tough. Mm. Larry Bird was a better rebounder than LeBron James. I can just back it up with the stats. And there was an accountability factor that came with being on the floor with Larry Bird because there was a certain level of excellence that was expected. Pass. Amazing pass. Shooter than LeBron James. The bird. 
Respect, man, the legend. You just a fool, bro. I'm telling you, man, that dude is great. Like, just, 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 bro, I don't know. Dude, immortal, bro. <laughs> no cap. But yeah, man, I know y'all gonna enjoy that reaction. I definitely enjoyed that video, man. That was, some, that was a fire ass video. But make sure y'all tap in, make sure y'all subscribe. I appreciate y'all. Make uh, sure I get to shut on the 5K subs. I'll drop some more requests um, in the comments. Um, it's the best sports reaction channel on YouTube. So ch check out all my videos. With that being said, we're going to wrap it up. Y'all stay safe, stay tuned, and we out.